I started on the BSC and the Sustainable Management Pathway. Again, I'm not too sure if that's still called that. Oh, well, there you go. I, I learned it. Um, I did the compulsory modules plus the uh, other, uh, the compulsory pathway choices that you have to take in year one. But because I enjoyed it so much, I decided to stay on and transferred to the MMSI after a successful interview. Um, but what subjects are really important in my position at the moment? Uh, well, I've done a bit of energy efficiency work um, and the kind of the basic knowledge that we gained in the physics module was really, really, really helpful. Can't, under, can't underline how important that module was actually. Uh, environmental law has, it pains me to say it, well, it has and will always probably be very important. Um, it's helped me on numerous waste compliance audits and we worked with a company who operates through in several different countries so they need to be aware of what climate change legislation there was and what applied to them and what obligations, um, what obligations there were for them. Um, the re environmental research project which George spoke about, uh, we did some auditing work there and um, I also wrote, uh, did a carbon footprint which actually basically got me my job in the interview I think. So that was a very, very important. Work-based learning, as I said, I work for a combined heat and power company but managed to do some energy uh, efficiency work. Environmental management systems, very, very good module. I don't know why everyone hates it so much because I really enjoyed it. It was. Uh, really good 11 weeks really we did particularly well on it as well didn't we Jenny so um, and again that's really helpful taking that into an interview it's about to say look I did that the company said this about it um, so again key skills in helping me with auditing and environmental legislation same with um, environmental auditing but again this took it a bit further and really helped me understand how I can help organizations and like George that was a big thing for me whilst I was at university I really wanted to see what I learned in the classroom, how could I go out there and you know, make that actually happen, whether that be at the university or in other businesses. So um, that was really helpful, that module. And then advanced research project, um, I'll talk more about that in a minute, but um, it helped me with writing business questionnaires, um, speak, having interviews with businesses, and just generally with research, which is another important role as a graduate. Um, I used my final year project and I set it up in a way that I would interview different businesses um, and basically I interviewed the business leaders as part of my project which was on ecosystem services. Um, so I interviewed 15 different organisations and through that met very, some very uh, useful contacts who I still keep in contact with now, one of which was from URS um, and through that person I was able to meet other members of staff from URS. Um, I was then phoned about an opportunity just before graduation actually um, working at, and I was offered an opportunity to work an 11 week three day a week internship in, um, in URS in a team specialising in BREEAM and co-sustainable pro home projects. So I went for it, really enjoyed it, it was a really good experience and through being in the Basingstoke office I was able to meet lots of different staff members and that's when I heard about the opportunity of the graduate sustainability consultant position that came up. Um, I was advised to go forward to it, um, got a really good recommendation from my, the current boss I had at the time, um, went for an interview and got the job. So the reason I brought that up is not, oh look at me, I've got a job sort of thing, it's, it's really to emphasise there's more than one way into a business and having contacts is so key. I've So what does my role entail? Um, it's not really a typical position. Um, I work, as I said, in the UK Strategic Sustainability and Climate Change team, a bit of a mouthful, um, but within that is four mini teams. Um, and I work two days a week in the resource and environmental management team, and three days a week in the corporate and sustainability and carbon management team. 